Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Plena. Yes, checking out another beer that I got from Beer Gym. So, thanks a ton to Beer Gym for the beer. Check them out. Great Belgian web shop with not just Belgian beer, loads of beer from all over the globe, like Sweden, like this one. Uh, link for the shop is down below. So, this is another Duges beer. Uh, I no, I'm saying it wrong. Actually, I found out in Sweden it's Duges. Duges. Duges, not Duges. And I don't know why I said U like U actually. Or you like why, in, at least in Danish. Mm. But uh, it's Duges. And this is made in collaboration with Stillwater Artisanal from the States. And this is the Duges and Stillwater Mango, Mango, Mango Sour Fruit Ale. Oh, what do you think it tastes like? Uh, grapes. Oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> no, the, the smell of mango <laughs> is filling the, the room. room. This so, is a great uh, yeah. beer. I had this on tap over in Gothenburg uh, during uh, Gothenburg Beer Week and I loved it. So I had to get a bottle when I saw they had it on Beer Drum because uh, uh, it was good stuff. So th th this is a 4.5% sour ale. They say that this beer is uh, just true depth of mango flavor, flavor with three layers of taste and aroma from fruit and hops. Three layers of taste? Yeah. So what does that mean? Yeah, just three different additions of things that gives mango flavors. Okay. So they say, go mango. So yeah, 4.8%, so it should be sessionable as well, which is great. But we got it poured, and pour is a very New England IPA-like color. I mean, this is hazy, golden orange beer. It also to me kind of looks golden like yellow. a busy kind of a... Um, Soft drink. And no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more like a juice. Just a yeah, busy yeah. juice. Yeah. A little bit of white head more so than we, more head was there when we poured it, but it fizzed away quite quickly. But let's mm. check out the aroma on mango, mango, mango. Mango, mango. Mango, mango. mango. Oh, that smells so nice. Mm. <laughs> that is so freaking mango forward. That is crazy. And this is not like the freshest of bottles, but it is just, I mean, I'd mostly just pure mango and then. Um, pureed mango candy and, uh, mango. Or mango candy. Yeah, maybe and and also you get the uh, the sourness of course oh, the, uh, like oh, that smells so good. The big yeah. thing for me is mango sorbet, sorbet. This is oh, the epitome yeah. of sorbet. Yeah, yeah, it really yeah, yeah. is. It really is. It's like straight freaking mango sorbet. It smells so good, and being only four point eight percent, this is something you can easily have a few of as well, mm. which is great. Such an intense fruit character, mm. both jammy and like. A little bit sweet and tart. Yeah, it's a bit sour. sweet and sour and tart. Yeah, but I mean, what else is there really to say that mango and sour is? Really That's good. about it. Yeah, but it doesn't have like to be anything else. No, no. If it tastes like it it's smells, almost reminding me of uh, you know the ice creams we had in Denmark, Sunlali, the exotic version. But man, mango bomb. Let's try it. Let's do it. Cheers and thanks for being here for the beer. Mango, 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 mango. Wow. That is, oh. that is so freaking mango sorbet-like. Sorbet mm. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. Mm. Wow. And that, if you love mango, you'll really dig this. And it's mm. so drinkable. But, but, oh, oh, but it's oh, that's good. almost like an, um, a scababa Yeah. Uh, Sun lolly. Or like, yeah. a, uh, what are they called? Like the ice creams, you, I think it's they're called, is it freezies or something? Like the ice cream, like kind of like you can get them, it's like popsicle type stuff or whatever. You freeze it yourself, it's like got some kind of fruit concentrate or whatever. You freeze it and you have it in the summer. It, mm. it reminds me of the, in Denmark, we have something called sundali, which is like that. It's like a triangle square thing. Mm. The exotic flavor. But, but I love that. To me, it's not completely mango though. Mm -mm. I mean, uh, the sound is kind of reminds me of a kredeble. Pomegranate, okay. Yeah. To me, it's more like um, you don't get the sweetness fruit. from it though. Uh, uh, just, just a sour feeling. A guava, guava, a bit maybe. Mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Not to mango, 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 but maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Was that on purpose? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 that's a whole different beer. <laughs> they should make a beer. They should make. Is this maybe, maybe, maybe? 
<laughs> Dukas, you should make a beer called Maybe, 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 <laughs> and then it will be a surprise fruit in each bottle. Oh, that would be a good idea. idea. Yeah. Just in the same vein as this, and then it's like, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe this is mango, maybe this is raspberry, maybe. Oh, kind of like what they did yeah. with the uh, jelly beans. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that, was actually, that would be fun. That yeah. would be a fun series. The only way you would find yeah. out is by trying to make, make, make a game of it. Yeah. <laughs> but I really enjoy this. Yeah. There's not too much to say other than it's like shit tons of mango mm. and it's like mango sorbet. As you said, there's some other mm. kind of tropical vibes, but big mango. Mm. It's candied mango. It's like mango fruit. Yeah. Um, mild sourness. So I think it's a beer for everyone. Mm -hmm. And lighter side of like not maybe even lighter side of medium or lower than lighter side of medium mouthfeel. Not the biggest mouthfeel, but good carbonation, super refreshing, yeah. perfect summer beer. But I just love the intensity of flavors for 4.8% beer. It's really impressive, I think. It's just fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna go 93, I think, on this. I think mm -hmm. it's, uh, when I had in the, over in Sweden, when it's a bit fresher, I'd go higher because the fruit flavor was even more intense, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure how old this bottle is, but it doesn't, it is, 100% as vibrant as I when I had it on tap, but it could go a bit higher. Yeah. But this is perfect session beer for me. See, I don't, I, I don't know how sours like this age in the bottle. Uh, I do know that um, when you get something like a uh, wooden bag or something, mm. it, it tends it to get more even more funky sometimes, more yeah, sour. So, yeah. You don't really know what's going to happen though. But I, it, I don't know, I think this might be a kettle souring or something, so it shouldn't grow in sourness, but sometimes the fruit flavor can fall out a bit. But I, yeah. this is 93, it's great. Yeah. Awesome session beer. I would have no problem drinking a one liter stein on this. Me too. I'm gonna to top it. I'm gonna say 95. I think we found you a perfect session beer almost then. Yeah. I, I mean, love this it. is really good. Really good stuff, guys. Definitely check out the Dugas and Stillwater Mango, Mango, Mango. This is such great session beer, and it's great to have a beer with so much flavor on a low ABD. I love that. So, because you can have a few without getting hammered. So, if you guys had a chance to try Mango, 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 let us know what you thought of it. I know this has been a long Please review, do. so sorry for that, but let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, enjoyed it. We're going to say cheers and thanks a ton to Beer Jump for the beer, where I think you can still get it, so check them out. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review. I tell you what, I enjoyed it. <laughs>